since two years and I really enjoy doing it. And today let's learn how to code for kids. Now we are on the home page and I have given the link in the description. First let me sign in. Now I am in my dashboard. Now we are going to course catalog. Now we go going to create K5. Here are courses for pre-readers in elementary school. Now I press course A which is for age groups for 4 to 7 years. Let's start with lesson 1. This video is about safety in my online neighborhood. Hi, I am 7 years old. I love playing on my mom's computer, but I have three rules to remember. Rule number one, always ask your parents first. Rule number two, only talk to people you know. Rule number three, stick to places that are just right for you. Wow, that was fun. Now, I recommend you all to watch this whole video. But now, let's press continue. This is the instructions box. And this is the workspace where you work. Now, let's learn how to click, drag and drop. The instruction says, click the block. Now, we click it. Wow, we finished the first puzzle. Now, let's continue. Now, the instruction says, drag the block to the target. Wow, I recommend you all to do these all yourself. Now, I'm going to the last one. Now, the instruction says, put these blocks in order by number. Now, we drag the blocks and put it Wow Now the instruction says To get squat to the acorn, snap the east block to the bottom of the win run block, then press run So let's try We take the east block Put it down the wind run block. Now we press run. <laughs> wow, and let's see the code. So this is the code behind the blocks. Now let's continue. So now I'm skipping these and I recommend you all to do this all by yourself. Now I'm going to the last one. So, the instruction says, try this one all by yourself. Now, the scrat needs to go two times west to get to the acorn. Now, we drag the blocks and put it there. Now, we, now we run. Wow, and this is the code hit behind the blocks. Now, we press continue. I recommend you all to do all these by your own. Now I'm going to the last one. Now here the instruction says, now get that acorn any way you can. Now this is a new block called repeat block. Now let's see how it works. Now first I'll drag a repeat block. And let's see how this will work. I'm going one, two, three, four times to the west. So we drag the west block here and change the number to four. Now again, when it is here, it needs to go to the north. One, two, three, four times. Now I drag a repeat block again and put a north block and change it to four. Now I run it. Wow, 
Well, we finished this. Now, let's continue. Go get the scrap metal, BB-8. Watch out for walls and crates. Scrap metal looks like this. Now, let's do it. So this needs to go one, two, three times. Now I take a repeat block and send it east three times. Now I run it. Wow. Now let's continue. I'm going to the last one. So here it says keep going. Now this needs to collect all these four of scrap metals. Now we're going to do it. So this needs to go one, two. Now I take a repeat block and put the east block in it and select two. Now it needs to go one, two times down. Now I take a repeat block and change it again to two. Now I take a south block and put it there. Now it needs to go one, two to go and collect this scrap metal. I take a repeat block again change it to 2 and put it west now it's here but it needs to go 1 2 again now I take again a repeat block change it to 2 and put it to west now it needs to go 1 2 times to the north I take a repeat block change it to 2 and put the north block now again it needs to go 2 times so I take a repeat block, change it to 2 and put a north block. Now I run it. <laughs> wow, we finished it. Let's continue. Hope you all are enjoying learning coding. So the instruction says, Free play. This is Laurel the Adventurer. Move her around and get as much treasure as you can. Drag blocks into the workspace and try to figure out how to get treasure. Get at least one item to pass this level. Now we do it. So, we can use a repeat block. And we can use it like this. We put a east block and two east blocks and a get block. Now, it needs to go one, two, three times. Now. We change this into 3. Now, let's run. Wow, now let's continue. So here are so many. And the instruction says, Eureka! Get as much treasure as you can. You do not have to get it all. Well, now let's see how we can do it. Wow, we finished it. Now, let's see the code. It is so long. And now, let's go into the next one. Now, the instruction says, This is a new type of puzzle called artist. Play with the level and draw something fun. So here, we can draw whatever we want. But first, I will draw and show you how to draw a square. Now first, I'm gonna take the north block. Then the east block, south block, and a west block. Now, there are new blocks called jump north, 
jump south, jump east and jump west. Now I'm using it. Jump south and then I'm going to draw a rectangle. Now I use south and I take a repeat block. Two. And I take east blocks. Now I take the north block and I take again the repeat block and now I use the west. So now let's run it. Wow, we finished this. Hope you are having fun and I'm going to press continue. I'll move to events. So the instruction says, This is a play lab level. Move blocks to the workspace and see what happens. So I'm just going to create a story. Now I, se I select what sounds I want. Now I take a show block and take another character. And now I use this block. and change the character. So now, let's see how it works. Well, it was nice, but I want to change the background. Let's put it to this one. And now, reset and run. Wow, let's press finish. We can also share this story. So I'm copying the link. Now, now I press enter. Now we can run it. Wow, it is so nice. This is how the games are created. Now the instruction says, Free play, add anything you want to this game. Can you make the dinosaur disappear when Jorge runs into him? Now, first, now, we take this one, and now, Now, I take the blocks and drag them. Now, I put a vanish block. Now, so now, let's run it. Now, hope you all like this video. We completed the course and this is how the certificate looks like. Stay tuned for my next video. Bye!